Are you ready to uncover the secrets to building a monetizable faceless YouTube channel with AI automation? This YouTube channel is raking in over $9,000 per month by uploading simple YouTube. Wait, doesn't this sound familiar? You've probably come across one of these videos on YouTube, and if you haven't, then here's a quick recap. A few months ago, a game-changing method for creating YouTube shorts emerged. It spread like wildfire, and many YouTubers started making videos about it, but here's the catch. They all showcase the same method, using the exact same reference channel as an example. And to top it off, they were all making shorts about psychology facts. It can be just a coincidence, right? But to be honest with you, the previous content idea was very popular for a time, bringing great success to early creators in that niche. The market became oversaturated as more and more began producing similar fact-based shorts. This made it difficult for recent creators to stand out and see the same results. But nobody had thought of using this powerful AI method in our hands in different creative ways. In fact, one of my past videos on this topic, among the earliest, proved to be my most successful so far. Therefore, I took on the responsibility of developing an updated version that builds on what worked before but takes it to the next level. I'll still be using ChatGPT and Canva for this, but the content I'm cooking up this time is going to take things to a whole new level. By the time this video ends, you'll not only have your own faceless YouTube channel that you can finally monetize, but it will also be built on automation using AI. I'm talking about creating three months worth of YouTube shorts all at once, and that's not all. I'll demonstrate how to get this AI to generate all your titles, descriptions, hashtags, you name it. Get ready. To show you the evidence, here's a YouTube channel focused on quiz and riddle videos. These videos are racking up millions of views. The reason behind their viral success is simple. They keep viewers engaged and their curiosity peaked with each quiz or riddle. This, in turn, increases the watch time of these videos. The level of engagement in these videos is off the charts compared to other types of content, mainly because viewers have to fully focus on solving the riddles. Just take a look at the comments section and you'll get a better idea of how much people absolutely love these videos. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Is the channel really monetized? Here's a neat trick for you. Simply right click anywhere on an empty area and select view page source. Then if you're using Windows, press Carl plus F. If you're using a Mac, press Command plus F. Type monetize in the search bar and hit enter. If you see true here, it means the channel is monetized, while false indicates that it isn't. This channel earns around $60,000 annually, according to Social Blade. From owning channels myself, I can confirm earnings often meet or exceed its higher estimates. To motivate you, see this new channel successfully adopting this approach, gaining thousands of views. As you can see, it's already monetized. If they can achieve it, so can you. I've done the legwork, researching, and refining a strategy allowing effortless, time-saving video creation. Here's the plan. Rather than long videos, we'll produce shorts since YouTube now monetizes shorts. According to Forbes, YouTube is actively promoting shorts and they have a high chance of going viral. Plus, people nowadays prefer short form content. Step one, our first task is to create riddles. To do that, we'll open up ChatGPT. It's wise to express appreciation. Who knows, someday AI might turn into Ultra and take over the world. But with this, you might secure a good job as an assistant to AI at that time. If we simply ask ChatGPT to give us riddles to solve, the results might be something like this. But that's where good prompting comes into play. Here's how I'll approach it. As a renowned riddles expert, your task is to create five quick and interesting riddles for your audience to solve. The riddles should be easy enough to engage and entertain the participants. Each riddle should have three options with only one correct answer. Please follow the table format provided below to present your riddles. Then I'll lay out the desired format and provide a suitable example. Let's see what ChatGPT brings us. It has done a good job. Sometimes ChatGPT can have its quirks. So if you prefer an alternative, you can also use Google's Bard AI. For now though, I'll stick with our chatty friend. Here's the plan. I'm going to ask it for 300 riddles for now. 
Whoops, it said it can do 10 at a time. So we'll just have to keep hitting it up until we get them all. No use arguing with an AI, right? Once we have our complete riddle collection, I'll import it all into a Google Sheet to organize. It can be wacky sometimes, with fields like title, hype, and body ending up extra long for no reason. So I'll give it a round to make things easier down the road. Step two is a simple task that only takes two seconds. Take a quick pause and click on this awesome button called subscribe so we can stay connected. It will also encourage me to share many more AI treasures like the one you're watching right now. Step three, let's open up Canva and click on create video. Firstly, let's work on the background. Click on the elements tab and search for the type of background video you desire. Now copy the text from the first column and paste it onto the template. You can adjust the text size. If you want the text to be in all caps, simply click here and choose the font style you prefer. To enhance the visibility of the text, let's add a text background. Select the square shape, adjust its size, and pick a color of your choice. As the background might appear too bright for the text, let's add a black overlay and adjust its opacity to your liking. To ensure the text is positioned behind the background, right click, select layers, and choose send to backward. All right, y'all, head back to the sheets and grab the next riddle text. Paste it in, then select a font and size that suits. Now we need a little illustration. How about a fella pointing up? That could work nicely. Oh, snap. With Canva, we can even cut out the background for a cleaner look. Much better. Let's also throw in some motion to really make it engaging. Click animations and browse the options. See what fits your vibe. Apply it to every element on screen. And now for one of the key steps. Right click that text layer and hit show timing. This bad boy lets us control when elements pop up or fade out. Now let's go back and copy the next part of the riddle. Place it here and ensure it's neither too big nor too small. This section also requires a background, so this time click on effects and choose this one because it adjusts based on the text and adjust its screen timing. Let's add animation to this part as well. Now let's repeat the same process for all three options of our riddle. To copy an element on the screen, simply click and drag while holding the Alt key on your keyboard. Make sure that new elements appear on the screen once the previous elements disappear. Here's how it all looks so far. To keep the viewers engaged, I'm gonna add one more animation to these elements. Now let's add a timer for added excitement. You can choose any timer you prefer and adjust its timing accordingly. It's time to add the final piece of the puzzle and repeat the same process for the answer section as well. In just a few seconds, you'll be able to see the fantastic outcome of our awesome riddle. And here it is. Seems like something is missing, right? Music! You're absolutely right. You're getting smarter while watching my videos, huh? But there's a problem if you choose Canva's music. You might encounter copyright issues. My suggestion is to spend some time finding free music from the YouTube Music Library and upload it here. Now let's add one extra element before I reveal the final result. So here's what our short looks like now. Step four is where the real magic happens. In this step, I'm going to show you how to automate the rest of the process. Scroll down a bit and click on apps, then search for Bulk Create. However, please note that to access this tool, you must have a paid Canva subscription. But don't worry, you can obtain a 30-day trial subscription completely free of cost. Once you sign up, this is what the Bulk Create tool looks like. Click on Enter Data Manually, click on Clear Table, go back to the Google Sheets document and copy 30 rows, including the titles, then click here and paste them. Now pay close attention to this crucial step. Right click on the title and select Connect Data. We need to connect each data point to its respective text element on the screen. Soon enough, you'll understand why. For example, if this is the body text, you need to select body from the Connect Data list. Once you have connected all the data points to their corresponding text elements, it will appear as ticked, like this. Now click Continue and then hit Generate. Abracadabra, in just a matter of seconds, you'll have 30 shorts ready for you. But wait, there's more. The reason I only chose 30 shorts at this time is to ensure that you get the most out of each of them. Let's go back to the template and make some changes to the background and colors for the next batch. And voila, here's our next batch of YouTube shorts, all ready for a faceless YouTube channel with complete automation using AI. To download the shorts, simply click here and ensure that this option is ticked before hitting the download button. Now we move on to step five, which is creating your faceless YouTube channel and uploading these shorts using AI. Since this video has already gone on for quite some time, I trust your ability to set up a YouTube channel yourself. 
There are three crucial things you need to take care of. The title, description, and tags. Yes, they do matter. To accomplish that, once again, I will go to ChatGPT and paste in this prompt, instructing it to create all three of them in one go, specific to the topic you provide. Simply copy and paste all three of them to YouTube to go along with your shorts. Once you've completed all the necessary steps, hit the publish button. If you're interested in seeing the actual results I get from uploading these shorts over a period of one month, then let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter, where I share AI content that I don't cover on YouTube. Remember, consistency is key, and I highly encourage you to conduct your own research and experiment with more creative ideas using this AI automation technique. Thank you so much for watching until the end. With that being said, it's time for me to take my leave until we meet again.